what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video in today's video we're going to be going over the best way to earn treats in mutt 24 and also the best packs to spend them on now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you're searching on youtube for mutt 24 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so we got the most feared promo it dropped yesterday and one of the items in this promo is a new alternate currency called treats and this is something that you can earn and build up and spend on various items within the store we're going to go over the best places to spend that first we're going to go over the best ways to earn these treats now i do want to start by saying there was a really big glitch that took place last night where if you played the superstar game mode you could earn season 2 xp most feared field pass xp and treats so i have 10,000 treats right now i wouldn't say the majority of them came from the glitch but i did get some of them from the glitch unfortunately that has been fixed since then so you're not able to do it anymore but we're going to go through all of the ways online and offline that you can earn these treats Let's start with online, or I'm sorry, offline stuff, and we're going to go into this trick-or-treat game mode. So this is for, you know, online, offline players, excuse me. If you don't really like getting sweaty and you're very casual, you don't like competitive game modes, this is going to be for you. I will tell you it's very boring in my opinion, but you can definitely go to it. So basically you have eight games that you need to win against the computer. It's a half of a game, so it starts in the third quarter, 0-0 zero, zero game, you get the ball you need to win. If you go to the rewards basically once you get to eight wins you're gonna get 400 treats and a full candy bag fantasy pack I apologize I don't know exactly what's in that I'm assuming more treats and maybe some most feared cards these rewards are not cumulative meaning if you get seven wins you don't get the seven win reward plus the eight win reward or let me say that differently if you get eight wins you don't get the eight win reward plus the seven win reward plus the sixth plus the fifth this is what wins what number of wins you finish with is what you get also every win that you get when that game concludes you get 10 treats it's very minimal it has nothing to do with the rewards that you see on this screen that's just a per game reward that you're going to get for every game now once you get to eight wins you're going to get a key and i think that comes in the form of a collectible you can use that key to unlock the trick-or-treat haunted house and you can see it's locked right now because i don't have that so you have to get eight wins against the cpu in the neighborhood to then unlock the haunted house and this one has its own individual set of rewards i'm going to assume that every win you still get 10 treats and then also once you get to five wins you're going to get 800 treats one more time not cumulative so if you get the five wins that does not mean you get the four three two in one win rewards as well you have to get all of these wins all five of these wins to get the 800 treats and if you get stuck at four you're only going to get 500 treats instead now similar to the mode i just showed you there's an online version of that that's going to be more rewarding but also more competitive because you're playing against people instead of the computer but i think it's worth it if you're like a little bit above average or even an average player because what i found is that people if they get down early in this game mode they quit out pretty quickly and you actually earn 600 treats per win and there's a way to earn more rewards on top of that one thing i want to point out with both that offline mode i just showed you and this monster mayhem placements this is found in the head-to-head -head section of your mutt menu by the way Way, there are strategy items that you would have earned in the most feared field pass and let me go over to that field pass just to show you really quickly here i think it's a total of five or six strategy items and you get them very very early on at level four uh as far as the best one i would probably say the one that gives you like plus to uh, plus 10 to man and zone coverage is probably the route to go but you also have to kind of weigh in the factors of what it decreases there's one that makes your players taller but they're a little bit less fast so you know it's up to you on which ones you want to use i've played in this game mode without any of those strategy items so you can also also do that but if you get to a super bowl and win the super bowl in this one you actually get 15,000 treats which is a pretty good reward and like i said the regular season portion of this 
is fairly easy to get through if you're a decent player. If you're really bad, you're probably going to struggle a little bit. But if you go to the rewards here, you're going to see that if you get to five wins in a regular season, you get 1,300 treats. Again, not cumulative. Whatever number of wins you end up with in that season, that's the reward that you get. And then once you get to the playoffs, you're going to have additional rewards. I don't have what you're going to get if you lose in the playoffs, unfortunately, but I know you get some type of reward. They did say if you win a Super Bowl, you get 15,000 treats. So if you can win multiple Super Bowls, you can definitely stack up your treats here because is this is something that is repetitive. I played through one season. I lost in the first round of the playoffs. I backed out. I went into another one. We've started 3-0 and so far. If you go to 5-0 and in the regular season, you get a first round bye. So that's helpful to try to get to the Super Bowl. So this is a really good game mode if you can put up with the super tall players and the weird strategy items. If you don't want to use them or if you do want to use them, if you can rack up some wins here, it's a great way to make treats right now. This has nothing to do with earning treats, but I've been getting the question a lot, so we might as well address it here. A lot of people have not been able to play squads, and that's because you don't have one of those strategy items equipped apparently to play squads right now. The spooky squads regular season, you have to equip one of those strategy items from the level four reward within the most feared field pass now speaking of the most feared field pass there are rewards within this that are going to earn you content from the promo but you're also going to see level 24 for example level 22 as i scroll backwards level 14 level 12 etc are additional ways to earn treats so within this field pass as you level up and of course to do so you need to knock out these objectives remember the glitch i talked about in the beginning of the video is the main reason why i'm already up to level 25 just another side note here if you have earned this 90 overall fantasy pack or any of the 87 overall fantasy packs which come at level 16 and then there's another one over at level 8 my recommendation is to wait save this pack for part two of the promo because the part 187s just aren't very good cards so you can earn treats within this field pass there's also a daily login calendar or field pass that are also going to earn you treats now there was a bug where the welcome pack and the day one login reward it did not go out correctly they actually have fixed this so if you go into the calendar and view it it looks just like a field pass but you're going to get rewarded for logging in and as you can see here at day eight you're going to get 600 treats day 10 you get more 12 14 15 17 etc all the way at the end which is day 21 you can either take another 87 overall hero which that's probably the route i would recommend but if you don't want any of the 87 heroes you can get 2,000 more treats there as far as the welcome pack and the day one missing content that a lot of you may have experienced they just added in these objectives where if you buy a pack and I think this is going to count twice, right? It's going to knock out this one and this one. Uh, by doing so, the reward that you're going to get, I think it's somewhere on one of these screens. There it is, towards kind of like the middle left under total rewards. Uh, this is now going to give you, if you buy a pack in the store, and I, I know they, that you got to buy a pack in the store, it kind of stinks. But as you can see here, there's a most feared welcome pack reward and a 78 plus that will fix the issue that you may have had for missing that day one login reward and the welcome pack by going into the store and buying a pack to knock out that objective in the beginners offer section of the store there's usually a 500 coin daily pack i've already purchased it for the day so i can't show it to you but that's going to be your best bet to knock out that objective if you've already done it you may have to buy one of these other packs or wait until that pack refreshes at 10 30 a.m tomorrow morning now let's talk about where you want to spend those treats you're actually going to go to the treat store and there's a lot of different options i think the number one route you should go here is the jack-o-lantern collectible so you can buy up to 10 of these and they cost 1,000 treats each these are going to basically give you a random pack so on Halloween the jack-o-lanterns are going to turn into random packs and those packs could be legends they could be gridiron guardians they could be from the unstoppable promo they could be just about any type of pack in the game uh, but I think that's going to be a little bit more on the fun side it is a higher risk reward type thing where you spend the thousand you know treats and you get a pack that doesn't really give you anything but gold cards that might be an l to you but also you could get lucky within those packs so this is where i'll probably spend the majority or you know a ten thousand of my treats on the 10 that you are allowed to buy after that it's really up to you you can certainly cash them out one thousand treats is going to equal fifteen thousand coins so you can only do this up to three times but you can turn it into 45k there 
player coin is always king in this game mode. You can use coins to go out and buy the players that you want, of course. The 78 and 83 plus packs are unlimited, so there, there's no limit on how many you can buy, but these are more of a risk here, and the rerolls with training aren't amazing, so I can't imagine that these are going to be any better. Um, I would probably personally stay away from these. If you want to dabble in the most feared pack, you're guaranteed two most feared items in this one. You're likely going to get 78s and 79s with a chance of an 83, 87, or even a 90. I would not open this up if LTDs are not in packs. At the moment, they are, but as of tomorrow morning, they will not be. So at this that point, you would want to wait until part two of the promo comes out where more LTDs would be in packs. And this one's limited to two, but you know, just generally speaking, I would stay away from this one. I would also stay away from anything that's BND. So a BND 87 hero, stay away from it. There's a BND 90 overall. If this one gave you the choice of the BND that you got, you know, maybe that would be good to go with. Um, but this one, you're going to get three random options. You get to pick one. And for 14,000 treats, in my opinion, it's just simply not worth it. You can go for it if you want, but I just don't think it's worth it. If you can save up to 28,000, this one isn't a bad option. Now, again, you may want to wait until part two when more 90s come out, but this one also just gives you a random card. So you don't get to pick the card that you want, but it is sellable. So it is another way to basically turn your treats into coins. I haven't done the math on the ratio there. I would imagine that the 90s aren't going to give you uh, as many coins as you know the treats would give you. But at the end of the day, you can't really trade those in for anything else other than the coins down here, which are limited to three, and then the random jack-o'-lanterns, which end are, are going to end up being packed. So that's really uh, what I would focus on is the quick sell, the coin quick sells, and the jack-o'-lantern collectibles. And if you have anything left, you can open up the rerolls or the most fear packs. And if you want to risk it for the biscuit and save up to 28k, if you're able to earn that by maybe playing that online event over and over and over again, you can get yourself an auctionable 90, which at the end of the day, you could earn it now and maybe hang on to it because at some point, several months away, 90s are going to go into champion sets for promos that might give like 93, 94 overalls. They could become valuable again later on. So up to you on what you want to do there, but those are all of your options. Also, how you're going to earn treats in the most feared game mode or the most feared promo i should say thank you guys for tuning in my name is popular stranger i'm out peace